Eschewing his family's wealth and expectations, Hector opened up Tapley as a New Age commune dedicated to alternative living. Everything from rebirthing, channeling, meditation, healing, get, you, you name it, it was going on up here. But as the rave culture of the early 1990s took hold, this precious house became a den of iniquity. People from Glastonbury were pouring up here for weekends, and it became a full-on New Age, you know, um, community. The culture of drugs and partying spiralled out of control. We've had some really nasty pieces of work up here. He just, you know, could have gone, and he just could have gone and smashed the whole place up. Hector soon woke up to how things had gone wrong, and determined to protect the house, he wrestled back control. So I've been to hell and back, actually. With it. I've had four different takeover bids. Literally, groups have got together and voted me out for my own home. Now, Hector has got rid of the undesirable elements and taken back control of the estate. And he wants to bring this fine house back to its former glory. There are now 10 community members living at Tapley, and they pay for their keep by working allotted hours in the all-organic garden. The estate is open to the public, the main attractions being the Italian gardens, Hector's pioneering wild garden, and the old walled garden. But with all this on offer, Tapley only attracts an average of 22 people a day. You make a loss of about, I think, 25 grand, because I'm not the world's best businessman. And despite Hector and the community's best attempts, the house and the roof need a complete professional overhaul. In the short term, Hector can generate some good money by giving exclusive tours for international arts and crafts fans, who would most appreciate the rarity of Tapley's hidden gems. You are actually hiding your light under a bushel. Contact the William Morris Society yeah. and talk to them about the availability of people who would like to come to see this place. Yeah. And it could be, for example, that this dining room um, in the evening, you know, you do an evening tour and then they come and have a dinner here and sure. you charge £500 a head, for example. What? Yeah. £500 a head? Yeah. I've never <laughs> seen so much money. <laughs> Tonight, Hector will be hosting an exclusive dinner and evening tour of his rare collection of William Morris furniture. Well, this is it, Ruth. Oh, Hector, it's fantastic because it is totally idiosyncratic, still. <laughs> <laughs> it looks splendid. And I love the fact we've still got some GM some bits and stuff, bobs, yeah. all those things in it. Do you feel it's a so little nice bit there. liberated as well because of it not being all around? Uh, just a little bit, I must admit. Uh, I haven't cleaned this room for 20 years. It took me three days to do it. Really, this is terrific. Well done. I did have my doubts. I'm sure, quite rightly so, I don't blame you. <laughs>